Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to get a little artistic. I've already um, produced a recipe for how to dye plastics, but that was me doing it for the very first time. And now I've found what works for me. It's a really good method. So, I'm going to drop the character right now. I don't know why I did that, but I did, so let's go. Um, I did have this really long, um, drawn out recipe for how to dye plastics. I it was someone else's recipe. I gave them credit at the bottom in that video. This is my recipe. All right, what I have learned, let's quit fucking about. <laughs> you get writ dye. You get the color that you want. This one right here is purple. I am gonna be trying purple. Uh, never done that before. So, shake it up, put it in. What I have here is a big pot. How many quarts is it? I don't effing know. I don't know. And this is going to be a theme throughout this video. Who cares? It doesn't really matter. You don't have to put acetone in there. You don't have to put brake pad cleaner in there. You don't have to get it a specific temperature. You just gotta get it good and hot. There ain't no specific time. You just gotta put it in there and whenever it's as dark as you want it to be, you take it out. So, that's really it. I'm cooking this stuff like my grandma cooked her fried chicken. So, big pot full of water. It, this is aluminum, so I fully expect that it will ruin this aluminum uh, cookware, this pot. Now, I mean, if I don't mind it being purple on the inside, then it won't have ruined it. But I think that I would mind that. Um, so we're gonna go put this on the heater real quick. All right, I'm gonna show you my um, heater setup. I got these, this hot plate sitting on a bench. I plug it up and I turn it on high. And that's it. It takes this thing forever to get that up to temp. Like literally, it takes it about an hour. Okay, so, all right, so do I put the stuff in right now? Do I wait until it warms up? I've done it both ways. Um, I tend to like doing it whenever, you know, it warms up. How hot do I get it before I warm it up? Well, put it this way. I wouldn't put my hand in it. <laughs> It'd burn you. So probably about 180 degrees, you know, probably. But then I just drop them in and I walk away and I go and I do something. If I was to mind it, you know, and really pay attention, it'd probably take about 45 minutes to an hour, something like that, something like that. Almost every time, <clears throat> I'm sorry, excuse me, almost every time it's black, I'm, I'm dying things black, and so the longer you leave it in there, the better, really, the blacker it gets, you know? Um, I don't take it out, I don't do a rinse method, Take it out and put it in cold water and put it back in. None of that crap. It, it just, you, in my experience, it's completely unnecessary. You put it in there. Time takes stuff off. Now, I will say this. You've got to have everything clean. If you have a spot that has a gunk in like a corner or something like that, it might not get dyed or at least it'll, it won't get as much dye and then you'll have a little spot where it's, you can tell there was something there. Um, also around the stickers, I don't know how well you can see that, but we have clearly a spot that did not get dyed. Well, the stickers, they have glue on the back of them. And, and well, if that glue is not completely gone, it's waterproof and you won't have any dye there. It's no big deal on this one because I'm going to cover this with a decal. So it's not, not a big deal. Um, what else can I tell you? Uh, so it's got to be really good and clean. I mean, nothing excessive. 
just wash it off with soap and water and get it good and clean. And that's it. I drop them in the whole recoil and everything all at the same time. And it doesn't affect anything. It, it's fine. It dyes the, the parts inside there. It dyes them red as well, but I'm fine with that. Uh, now, this right here, check this out. This is both the same color of red. I don't know what's coming off on camera for you guys, but this is both the same color of red, and you can tell that this one is clearly darker. Well, what I did with this was uh, I, uh, it was late. It was like eight o'clock at night or so, 8.30 at night. And I, I actually go to bed really early. <laughs> but, you know, I didn't want to, F around with this anymore and I didn't know maybe it could use just a little bit more cooking and so all I did was I just turned off the hot plate and I, I unplug it because I have left it on overnight and it's evaporated almost everything out of there so um, make sure you turn off your hot plate so like I said I unplugged it and just left it sit the water was good and hot already I mean it's probably 200 degrees and so it probably took two or two hours for that water to cool down, you know, enough to where dye wasn't continuing to penetrate. But you can see that it continued to get darker and darker and darker. We got a nice blood red here. Um, actually, both of them are, but this one is really dark. But uh, little bits and pieces like this rubber, that was in there too, but that did not receive any dye whatsoever. It's just the way it goes. But these right here are for Peter Frampton. Peter Frampton, we're gonna have a special video on him coming up uh, pretty soon. And um, he's looking to go on tour all the way across the country. So uh, anyways, more on that to come. But this is what I do. This is how I die. And uh, we're gonna see how purple works. Now what I will be dying in purple are these two covers. These are gonna go into that purple mixture and uh, we'll see how it turns out. So, I'll come back. Now, all I'm gonna do is drop this in whenever it gets warm. I'll give it, you know, half an hour, or 45 minutes probably to, to warm up. Then I'm just gonna drop these in and leave them sit for an hour before I even go back and pull them out. So. That's how you dye stuff. It's easy, cheap. These are like five or six bucks each. You just get two of these, put them in a whole bunch of water, get it hot and drop your plastic in. It'll dye them. Okay guys, just wanna wrap this up. There they are. More of a plum color, really. Um, I think that uh, I'll try again and get um, I think they got a, a, a really light purple, like a lavender or a lilac, I think. I don't, I don't know. But it's really dark, a little bit darker than I wanted. But, I mean, this is it. This is dying. This is how it's done. Uh, I should grab the other one. Let me see. See how it looks up against the green. have both hands free yeah I don't know but that's how you die and most people only die black nothing wrong with that I mean black looks good <laughs> looks really good on a chainsaw but um, I like to try different stuff you know I just do but that's the way you die the longer you leave it in there the darker it'll get and if you, um, if, if you can't dye something that's black, yellow, it doesn't work that way. You can only get light colored plastics and dye them darker. And, um, and of course, you know, it's always a push and pull. It's a give and take. It's like, well, you know, like I, I went for purple 
I should have went for a lighter, like I said, like the lavender color. It was a real light purple because I was going over the uh, dark yellow uh, and sometimes red. Anyways, but yeah, there you go. That's the video. Dying is easy, you know. It's living that's hard.